You can download Dr. Racket for Mac, Windows, or Linux, and you can also download my file called colorutils.rkt, which has some useful tools for dealing with images. Start up Dr. Racket, and you'll have the interactions pane and the definitions pane. In this case, they're on the right and left, respectively. The main thing you need to check is that the language is Racket and that the language is set to the language declared in source, which it is in this case. And I want to start out with a require statement in order to read in the definitions that are in Color Utils. So I type out this require statement and I hit F5 to read in the definitions and that seems to go well. I'm also getting very tired of having to fetch elephants all the time so I'm going to define a shortcut for an elephant and then I'm going to head out on the internet to see what elephants might be roaming about and fetch one of them. Okay, there's one. So I right click on it copy it, and then paste it in to Dr. Jet, to Dr. Racket. F5 again, and now if I type Control D, I have the interactions pane filling the entire screen, and there we see Jumbo. I want to see just one bit of the image. I want to see just one pixel, so I'll look at the 17th pixel out of the list of colors that make up this image. So there I do it, list ref 17, convert jumbo to a list, and you see it's made up of four intensities, the red, green, blue, and alpha, or transparency. Now, what if I just care about one of the intensities? Well, I could examine just the red part of the 17th color that makes up this image. It has intensity 174. Of course, I could also examine just the blue part of that color. And there it is. I can construct a new color using this color as a reference. So I can say that the new blue ought to have intensity 25 and otherwise be the same as the 17th color in Jumbo. And here's how I do it. There's a new color with the blue set to 25. Of course, nothing special about blue. I could construct a new color where the red is set to a particular value. Usually we're interested in operating on the entire image. So changing perhaps the entire list of colors to create a new image. So what I do is I name each color in the list I in turn. So I is my old color and I use it a basis for generating new colors. So here the new red is going to be half the intensity of the red part of I and I is binding to each color in turn. So I take half the color red of I as the basis for my red part and otherwise, the new colors I produce are going to be just the same as I. And there we have quite significantly less red jumbo. I can do the same trick to the blue and base the blue in my new image that I construct being half the red value, the old one. Thank you.